Thanks to the success of History Channel's reality television show Pawn Stars that has been running for nearly a decade and is by far the network's biggest success, the Harrison's Gold and Silver Pawn Shop in Las Vegas has become famous all around the globe, while attracting a large amount of customers with more attractive and unique items. Now the guys don't always agree with their customers on prices for items, but that adds suspense to the show and now on the other hand they are willing to spend some big bucks on specific items. The series is filmed in Las Vegas, Nevada where it chronicles the daily activities at the world famous Gold and Silver Pawn Shop. It's a 24 hour family owned business opened in 1989 and originally operated by Rick Old Man Harrison and his family. Now the show gives viewers so much excitement messing around with the idea of how much a product's value is and over the years the show has definitely seen some incredible and rare items come through the doors of the shop. Now some turn out to be really good copies without any value but more often than none people walk in with items worth tens of thousands of dollars. So today we'll look at some of Pawn Stars mega purchases but before we do make sure to leave a like on the video if you like Pawn Stars and also because it helps the channel out tremendously and subscribe for future content just like this. Now after hearing that an original version of this artwork had sold for six million dollars Paul decided to take not one but four original paintings to the gold and silver pawn shop to see what type of deal he could get for them. His initial offer was $8,000 a piece, totaling $32,000, but Rick quickly noticed the water damage and warned the customer Paul that off the back it affects the value of the artwork. He proceeded to call in his expert to check the paintings out who then confirmed the authenticity of the painting while stating that they were probably early works from the 50s, well 1950s. Now, he has also stated that the water damage only being on the edges and not affecting the composition itself is not really a big problem when it comes to looking at the artwork and selling it at the auction. Matter of fact, the paintings could go around $10,000 apiece at the auction with two of them possibly going for as much as $15,000 apiece. Now based on what he heard and remembering the commission fee he would have to pay at auction, Rick offered $20,000 for all four paintings but Paul pointed out that two of them by itself would be a potential $30,000 profit. So the two settled for a deal worth $27,000 and Paul left happy because it was actually more than he expected to get. Sadly, after the passing of his grandmother, one man cleaned out her belongings and came to Gold and Silver Pawn Shop with a solid gold bar that he found which was hidden away in the box. Without actually knowing how much the gold bar was worth, he decided to bring it out to the pawn shop to find more out about it. Now, simply melting the gold bar down would have brought the man $24,000 alone. However, after an expert confirmed that the gold bar was from the 1554 Spanish shipwreck of Padre Island in Texas, it was actually worth twice as much money, so actually around $48,000 instead of the original $24,000 he thought. The lucky man agreed to sell the solid gold bar to Rick Harrison for $35,000 and it left both men happy with the transaction. Close, but no cigar. That is the title of a season 7 episode where a piece of presidential history walked into the shop and immediately blew Rick Harrison away. That came as no surprise though since the piece had belonged to one of America's most loved former presidents and also most respected in John F. Kennedy. So even with it just being a cigar box that once sat on John F. Kennedy's desk in the Oval Office, it still had a pretty high value, especially to the people that admired JFK. Now the box even included some unsmoked cigars that had a great value by themselves. The cigar were the same Cuban ones among the 1200 that JFK had secured for himself just hours before signing the Cuban trade embargo dating back to 1962. Now both the seller and Rick knew that, so both were playing mind games but they also knew that it wouldn't be a low ball price offer whatsoever. Now the seller was asking for $95,000 for the box but after very hard negotiations Rick managed to get the price lowered to $60,000. Rick is a master negotiator because that's a $35,000 difference and it also was a huge steal for in Rick's eyes because one of JFK's other cigar boxes sold for over half a million dollars back in the 90s. And that's all we have for you in today's video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like on the video if you want some more Pawn Stars content as well. Subscribe to the channel if you are a new viewer and we'll see you next time.